Hi guys, this is a video on a customizable on-screen volume control that you can download to your Windows computer for free. Now just to demonstrate this, I'm just going to go volume up and volume down, mute and unmute. Now those of you who are running a Mac or are um, familiar with the Mac platform will know that these sounds and this looks very very similar to the Mac in terms of volume up and volume down. And uh, it's basically using a skin which is um, available in this program. It's called 3RVX. It's, a, again, a free download. I'll provide the download link in the description. And as soon as you open it, you'll find itself running inside the system tray. Now, you can right-click this and go to Settings to Change, or you can go to the Mixer, or you can left-click it, and you'll find that you've got a slider. Now, this will vary depending on the skin that you have. I'll show you those in a minute. But you can actually position this where you like. But I've just got it similar to Windows Vista, having it above where the icon is. So you can click away or you can set it. Now, if I right-click this and go into the settings and show you what we have, and you can see we've got Run on Windows Startup, Play Sounds. You can even change the increments that it increases the volume. So you can see 6.25% at the moment. You can use a custom mixer. That's useful if you have things like, um, for me, I have a real tech. Um, HD audio thing so I can get it to launch that instead of the actual Windows volume control um, when I double click this or anything like that. Now if I go to the display you'll see we've got keep above the other windows you can hide the icon that's shown in the system tray so that's useful for those of you who don't like seeing that extra icon. Hide when other programs are full screen you can change the fade delay you can display it on a different monitor or actually put that little um, speaker thing anywhere on the, your monitor display. So you can have it in the top right corner if you need to. And you can see we've got the hotkey set up. Now I've got actually got a uh, volume up, volume down and mute on my keyboard. Uh, some people may not have that so that you can configure it to do certain keys. I don't know, like Windows and Windows key and down or something like that might be useful. Now. This is the best part, it's the skin chooser. Um, here we have three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm sure you can probably download more, I haven't um, bothered to do that. But the default, as you can see, is the author of Steve Jobs, so that is the um, the Apple one. Now I'm just gonna go quickly go through then let's go and see what ice is. This is ice. That's pretty cool. And if we go back again, skin chooser, ignition. That looks kind of futuristic. I like it. And we'll go to the next one. I Shom. That's kind of cool. Again, this needs the net 3.5, sorry, the dot net 3.5 uh, framework. And I just think it's pretty cool having a uh, monitor. So, small glass. Save. That looks pretty pretty damn decent. Settings again and the last one is Vista 808 so I assume this is similar. Oh wow I like that one actually. That shows it actually has the uh, volume there. So I just think this is really cool. If you want to, um, if you're one of those customization freaks who like to have their system um, with all the special gimmicks and gadgets then this volume control will be for you. I just think it's really useful to have it on there as well in case, I don't know, if you have like, um, if you want to see your volume um, the level it's at without going into the sound mixer or anything like that then you just simply press the buttons and then you can do it on your screen so that's about it really a uh, big thank you to um, I don't want to say his name because I think I'll get it wrong SZA bot is what I call him but um, I'll provide his name in the description anyway so thanks to him for suggesting this to me I did make a video previously about getting an on-screen display in XP um, however I I think that only works with HP systems. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.